hey hey and uh, this is the second part video that I spoke to you guys about earlier in the previous video I said that I want to do three videos and the first one is being able to use a wizard to create the report and then the second one would be how to do some grouping and sorting and then uh, in the third video I'm going to show you guys how to do a to do a count and how to do a sum or a little bit of calculations. Now, the first thing that I need to bring to your attention is these, these two important things here, and that is some definitions of grouping and sorting. So grouping means uh, we group records uh, into a logical order, um, often makes them easy to read and understand. So if we look at a big manufacturer like VWSA, and they've got reports, they'll have a report grouped according to the financial um, um, statistics, they'll have records grouped according to their purchases of, that they've made, they'll have a grouping according to um, marketing techniques that they've used, or whatever the case may be. They can group all the information in their databases um, so it's a little bit easier to understand and to read because it's quite frustrating to read something and uh, you've got a little bit of everything all over the place. Um, so what they do is they try to group things together so that you know when you read or see a summary of something, it's pertaining to a particular group or a particular section. Sorting, on the other hand, keeps all the records in the table. In, uh, it keeps all the records in the table, but sorts them based on the fields that you specify uh, in the order that you specify. So we'll have all the records there, but if I want to classify or sort it according to alphabetical order, I can do it. If I want to do it in a numerical value from either highest to lowest or smallest to biggest, I can do that as well. So let's let's focus today on, on grouping and let's focus on sorting. All right. So let's go to our, our, our database and um, I must say I'm quite impressed on, on how our database is actually looking at the moment. It started off with a simple little idea of um, some field names and we put some information in there. And we worked through queries and forms, and now we're on the report section. Now, I'm going to show you, like I said, how to do the groupings and the sortings. But I might also just touch on a little bit of formatting, because I've noticed a couple of things. Um, I don't like the color, okay, but I know I can add a theme to my report. Um, I can include an image, okay. So let me just write these things down that I want to do. So I want to do image... I want to do a theme, okay, and then maybe we can do some colors, I don't know, just to make it a little bit prettier, and then I want to speak to you about um, the label sizes. Okay, so before we actually get to the grouping and that, let's just work through the uh, the, the formatting. Um, now, right, straight off the bat, I can see, yeah, it says ending school fees. So, Outstanding is not showing at the moment. Um, so that needs to be corrected, okay? And uh, let's start off with that, and then maybe let's also just start off because I really don't like its color. It's, it's just looking a little bit bland at the moment. And uh, maybe we can just spruce up the, the student fees. Okay, so what I'm going to show you now, how to correct that label to see everything. We're going to change the color of this. Uh, we're going to format the student fee section and we're going to insert a image. All right. So what we always want to do is we want to work in the, the design view. And if I go to the design view, I can see over here, there are my labels. Okay, we see that. But we can see over here in this label, it says ending school fees. Now, guys, please take note. There's the end of the report. In other words, the margin. Okay. I've got all the space to expand that label to see what I need to see. So what I do is I activate that label. It makes a little orange border. I bring it about that way and a little bit that way. And all I want to see now is do I see outstanding school fees? Now to align these things and to get them perfectly does take time. Uh, I'm not going to even lie about it. Um, but Let's just see if outstanding school fees appears in the in the report view. Hey, look at that. Okay, so just in essence spacing it out, I've got enough space. And um, I'm happy with that now. So we know how to increase the size of the labels. 
and uh, now let's just change some of this color and, and the font just to make it a little bit nicer okay um, so we want to change the color so all I do is I click in the, the header section as you can see I just click there and if I right click by the full the back color I can choose what I want to choose and yellow always pops nicely for me so I'm just gonna go with yellow okay there we can see it is, has filled up nicely and uh, I want to change the student fees okay um, again it was there I can make it nice and bigger okay but now to change that I click inside of that label I highlight it and I can go to the home button and on the text formatting I can make it bold I can italics it I can increase the font size if I want to um, and how if I really want to I can even align it within the label okay please understand I'm aligning it in the label if I want that label to be in the middle I can just gradually just pick it up and move it around okay so let's just see do I have a a yellow band at the top there and have I done justice to that label report view look at that a little bit of color a little bit of changes and it's already looking top-notch so I've shown you how to increase a label size I'm showing you how to change a color of a, of a, of a back or a back for showing you how to do a little bit of editing to the fees now let's go that one step closer and let's just add in a little image we add a little bit of humor to this uh, report again design view I'm going to increase the side of the, the report header just for the purpose of I'm not sure how big my image is going to be that I want to put in here now I have taken the liberty of downloading an image and I've just saved it in a folder um, so what I'm going to do is over here on the design section there it says insert image if I click on that I can go browse and I can go look all over my computer for an image if I want to do that or simply because I have done a test run of this um, there's my image now I need to draw my image in okay so what I do is I draw my image in over there shows it to me that's pretty cool okay and I can increase the size of it please note I am limited to the size of my header so I can't bring it down further okay so I can expand it that way <coughs> Sorry, and what I want to do just to, to make this blend in the full color I make yellow as well so it does blend in there so let's have a look report view hey hey there's my little picture and it says I will find you and I will get my money and just a little bit of humor that we can add so that is how we would add an image I've just folded so that it does blend with that band color at the top there and uh, we can move it around where we want. I could have put that image underneath my student fees report. Just keep in mind, I've got to increase the size of my header. Right, so we've done color, we've done label sizes, we've inserted the image, we've done a little bit of formatting. Now we want to get to the grouping part. Right, now we spoke about a header over there and uh, we've spoken about some information that has been shown over here. I want to now see the kids that owe me money from most to least okay in other words um, descending order from biggest to smallest so what I'm going to do is you'll see the date is in at the bottom over there and in essence this is actually the footer of the page and that is the key word here footer because when in in the past that I've seen when I teach the section to grade 11s and to matrix they're not sure where to do their sorting and the grouping and uh, like I said we can do it in the wizard in the beginning but what happens if you find yourself in a situation of an exam and they've already created the report for you um, we don't want to still battle to go back to the um, to the wizard and try to recreate it we need to be able to do it in the design view so if we go into the design view we can see there's the report and here we see report footer 
So in other words, we, we're going to do some information in the report footer. Okay. And uh, we're going to do the grouping in the report footer. Um, if I click on report, I mean on group and sort, sorry, I can either add a group or I can add a sort. So what I want to do today, I just want to show how to do a sort because I don't have a lot of information across several different um, tables and that. So I don't want to group as yet. I just want to sort. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the sort section and it asks me, so what do I actually want to sort this report by? I said I want to sort it according to the outstanding school fees. So that's great. But from the largest to the smallest. So in essence now, my report should have the person that owes me the most money at the top and work my way down. Let's have a look at it. Click on the report view and look at that. Randy Tom owes me the most money and it actually works its way down to the least. Okay, so that is absolutely a brilliant feature. Um, I can sort my report accordingly. So that is pretty cool. Now, just for 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 interest sake, um, if they had to ask you to, for instance, group according to something, um, all you do is you just go add a group. You group, say they want to group according to uh, the name or the age. You will just select that, and you'll see that it's gone. Group according to the name, and how do you want to group it? Descending order or ascending order? And that is where you get your marks in the exam. Um, if you've made a mistake and you want to remove it, all you do is you just go delete. Okay, so there we have it. We've done some editing. We've done a, uh, a sort. I've shown you how to do a group. And I just think that looks absolutely smashing. Um, we've got time, so why not let's... Let's play around with themes. Okay, let's play around with themes and just see how it would look. Again, guys, everything happens in the design view. Now, remember, if I'm applying a theme, okay, a theme is going to affect the overall look. So it might change my report header. I don't know, but let's have a look. Um, I go down to themes on the side here. Again, I'm on the design view. Go to the theme and uh, as you can see, as I hover across it, it is changing some fonts, it's changing some uh, text, and uh, I'm just going to go with, um, hmm, which one do I want to go with? Ah, let's go with Slice. Slice, Ion, um, we can go with Integral, it's up to us. So let's just go with Slice. I click it, I go to my view, and... Uh, hasn't really changed much, but uh, in the design view, I would be able to pick up that you have used a database or a theme over there. Um, let's go and let's just use organic. That's one that they love to ask. Go to organic, report view, and you can see the fonts have changed. My, well, that's mostly what has changed the fonts. Okay. Um, so that is how we how we do it. Um, again, we can play around with the, with the full colors in certain sections should we want to do it. Um, I don't like to play too much with with the ideas of it because sometimes people do go a little bit crazy with it. As you can see, I'm going I'm going bananas right now with this, and uh, I'm not sure how it's going to look. It's probably not going to look the greatest, but to go to design um, report view there you can see I've just played around with colors it actually looks worse now in my opinion it looks worse um, so just be careful of when you do play around with with certain things like this um, that it doesn't come across as as tacky and um, you know it does it doesn't come across as as mediocre and, and low quality I mean it's the last thing that you want to be doing I'm just showing you how I'm playing around at the moment on the formatting. I've just selected those labels. And if I go to my report view, you understand it's actually looking worse now. But it can be done, okay? But I don't like it like that. 
personal preference I guess so I'm just going to remove all these colors like that and I'm pretty stoked with that I won't lie right I really hope that that has helped I know I've played around with quite a few things right now so the next video that I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you how to do some um, basic calculations and uh, I really really hope that um, these videos are doing its purpose to help you guys all right till the next video thanks guys cheers